What's up, everybody? Coach Sauce here, bringing you Week 5's game against newcomer in the league, Ron Biboka, head coach of the Ventura Venusaurs. So we have ourselves coming up here a little bit of a spicy game, and that's because it is the last game of the regular season. And so, you know, roster locks are coming up, different switches here and there, but I think overall we're kind of just chilling with our team. You know, no no trades or nothing. Uh, a lot of people, it's it's hard to hard to let, let go of some people's Pokemon in the trade market. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with the team here. But enough of that. We got Rombi Boca here coming up on the docket, and he's had some intense games this season. Had some close wins against Alex, stuff like that. And you know, in the division we're in, and seeing his team after prepping a little bit, he's got some scary stuff. So, so just to keep this video a little shorter, we're just gonna hop right into the team builder and show you guys what we brought, the Raichu that is, in terms of our team this week. So, let's hop right in. So, taking a look here, we wanted to just try out as much stuff as we could. We're bringing some people off the bench, you know, and trying out some different movesets just to just to experiment a little bit. Last game here, not that it doesn't matter or doesn't count, but you know, we have some leeway a bit before playoffs since it's most likely going to be that single elimination bracket. So let's start things off here with Swagby the Magby. This time we are bringing ourselves a Pattaya Berry set. Now. Substitute, we have the berry, and that is to proc Belch, as you can only use it after you eat the berry. The Pattaya Berry increases special attack, so we're just maxing out our speed and special attack with the Timid Nature, along with Flamethrower and Hidden Power Ice. A lot of Pokemon on this team didn't appreciate Ice types, so figured that would be kind of a good bring for that. After that, we have our boy Ole. Ole with the Choice Scarf, Sheer Force. Okay, I said we were experimenting, but we needed a little bit of a fail safe here because this thing, pretty good, smacks. We're just rallying it out with those four good moves of Iron Head, Play Rough, Power Whip, and Rock Slide. Just decent coverage overall, especially against his team. But we have a newcomer in the Chingling. <laughs> Yes, it's a short season, so not a lot of opportunities to kind of mix and match different Pokemon, especially when you're trying to solidify that record. But Chingling, first debut game, and we're bringing some memes. Well, not so much memes, but we'll go into it. We have a zoom lens. We have bind, 85% accurate. We have hypnosis, 60% accurate. We need these to hit so we can trap, sleep them, and hit him with Dream Eater. That's right. We're running the Dream Eater set as well as Dazzling Gleam. So rocking basically max HP and max special attack with a little bit of sprinkle in speed. Next up is Dilbert. Again, I guess the right side of the screen is just not cool. I don't know. But we're just going to Lychee Berry to increase the attack as we have Rapid Spin to increase our speed. But we're just doing a typical Rock Slide Earthquake, Stealth Rock, basically our lead for the week here in Dilbert. So, max HP, max attack. We can basically live anything, at least one hit, and that can proc our Lychee Berry. Fifth on the lineup is Gotcha Jr. with the Eviolite. Max special defense. He's got a lot of special attackers on his team. So, figured that we'd pump that out and get ourselves a Cotton Guard set along with Leech Seed, Protect, and Dazzling Gleam for an attacking move as it's pretty decent as he has a few dark types, fighting types on his team. So pretty, pretty mediocre special attack stat, but we need something in case we're taunted, right? So that is Gotcha Jr. with the max HP. And finally, inspiration from DJ a few seasons ago with the Inteleon. 
We're bringing the little bro a slobble gobble and we're having a razor claw and we're going a max attack set, max speed, jolly nature with aqua jet and ice shard, two good priority moves for coverage. And then we have liquidation for a solid stab and fell stinger, which is the one move that is so cool. If you're able to knock an opponent out with this, your attack gets raised three stages. And the Razor Claw is there to increase our crit chances for Sniper, which if we get a crit, will amplify the damage by 1.5 times. So that is that is the team. A bunch of mis, you know, mishmash in here and there. Uh, so we just wanted to try and experiment a little bit coming into the last game before playoffs. So without further ado, let's go into the replay against Rombi Boca. So we are bang chilling here. We see Boca. He's coming out with the Bronzor. We've seen it before. The Diglett, super scary, super fast. Cacnea, Krogunk, Swablu, and the Zigzagoon. Wasn't expecting the Zigzagoon, but anyways, scary threats on his side. I'm not too keen about that Cacnea, but we're gonna lead with Dilbert just because if he does call that out, we can kind of switch into our special wall of Cottony and go from there. But everything else, we're we're kind of chilling. So I send out Drillber. He sends out Crow Gunk. So I get up some rocks, thinking that you know, just to just to check the speeds here, and we find out we're faster. We get the rocks. We know we're gonna live a hit and he misses the cross chop so off the bat that feels kind of bad uh i hate missing moves in pokemon so boca sorry but nonetheless we know we're faster now so we can hit him with an earthquake and that takes down the featherless biped so already we're off to a decent start i'm gonna swap here into cottony because i don't want to take the energy ball that's incoming and he swaps out thinking like that did little to no damage so he's just gonna chill so saw blue comes in and we hit it with a dazzling gleam and it does nothing but after the chip damage he's already down to 66 and I wanted to just scout the move so I go for a protect and he goes for haze and I'm not like too sure maybe he was hoping for a defog instead but the haze maybe thinking that i would start setting up so preemptive haze it's good to know now and we get off a leech seed so that is awesome he hits us with a dual wing beat so now we know he's a physical set and this gives us an opportunity to kind of cotton guard up as he goes for a heal bell now this is a little this is a little questionable but nonetheless again uh nothing was really status but maybe thought that I would go for a status move as we do have prankster so maybe trying to call out some preemptive plays of mine but nonetheless we get in a free turn to get up our cotton guard and we get that leech seed chip damage so he swaps out into cacnea and we have a failed protect so at this point I don't really have anyone that can deal with the cacnea besides gotcha so I'm just gonna keep trading and at that point, I'm surprised he swapped because I maybe would have just maybe just grinded that out because I can't get a leech seed off. I'm eviolated. I don't really have any other recovery. And he decides, though, to switch, which gives me the opportunity to set up some more leech seed. You know where this is going. Leech seed. He gets up an iron defense. We're chilling. We're fine with that. He sets up a screen. We're going for an attacking move. Dazzling Gleam goes into the Zigzagoon. We are faster and we clean that up. So Saw Blue comes in. I know he's going to haze. So that's why I go for the Leech Seed as he's not going to do it again. So this gives me another free chance to get up some more Cotton Guard. Bronzor back in. We get up our Leech Seed once again. Pretty stolly. And in comes the Beach Ball. 
we get off a Dazzling Gleam here. And at this point, we're just firing off Dazzling Gleams, trying to get this thing out, because Cacnea is the only thing that's really standing in Cottony's way. Swablu dies to Dilbert's Stealth Rocks, and it's Leech, Te Leech Seed time again. We're getting it off, and now we're able to get up our Cotton Guard against the Diglett. So I'm hoping that he's not a rest set or something, but based on the screens, it looks like he's just a utility Bronzor. And at this point, we can set up our last Leech Seed against Let Without the Dig. And we'll just kind of play this one out as Otney. Getting, getting that 95%. So that is the game. GG's to you, Rami Boca. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate. Sorry for the stally tactics, especially with the Cottony. It's called Gotcha Junior because of the prankster, because it just, once it kind of sets up and does its little annoying spiel with Leech Seed and protecting and all of its other priority status moves, it's kind of a nuisance to deal with. So nonetheless, GG's and hope you have a sweet run in playoffs and hopefully we can get that run back as you know we can get we can get a little more less of a stally game from my side as that kind of kind of felt lame especially starting off just the cards with the cross chop immediately missing it was just this is one of those games you know but nonetheless we we end off the season with a four and run record and feeling pretty decent going to the playoffs. So I'm super excited to see what that's like. Also looking forward to the playoff preview that's coming up, which is going to be a super great video. So yeah, nonetheless, GG's again, and we will see you in playoffs. Go right, shoot.